Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at Gay-Lussac's law and how it relates to the PT diagram. Yes, indeed, I said PT diagram, not the PV di diagram. So what does that mean? Well, let's start again with the ideal gas equation, PV equals nRT. In this case, we're going to let V equals a constant, so it's an isochoric process when we go from one state to another and that's known as Gay-Lussac's law, so we can then write that p divided by t, the only two state variables that can now change, being equal to nr over v, which is then, of course, that ratio is then, of course, a constant, which means we can write that p1 over t1 is equal to p2 over t2. Now, if we think of this nr over v as being a constant, and we can put t over here, we can then write that p is equal to this constant quantity times t, or p equals a constant times t. Now that should remind us of something we've seen before in algebra on the x-y axis. We have the equation y equals mx plus b, which represents a linear equation. If we now set b equal to zero, all the lines would converge to the origin right here, but the direction of the line will depend upon the slope of the line. So here, M1, M2, and M3 are considered slopes, and the larger the slope, the steeper the line, the smaller the slope, the, the less steep the line. And we can then say that we can write those three equations as y equals m1x or y equals m2x or y equals m3x as the three equations represented by that. So there's a relationship between x and y, and the relationship depends upon that slope, m. Now take a look here, that constant m is now nr over v. So nr over v represent the constant of these lines. Notice this is a larger quantity, this is a smaller quantity. When v is larger, since it's in the denominator, nr over v is going to be smaller. So we have a linear relationship between the pressure and the temperature, and that relationship, the slope of that relationship, depends on v. The larger v, the smaller the slope. And so we can then take a look here and see here that the ratio of p1 to t1 is going to equal the ratio of p2 to t2. Does that make sense? And the answer is yes. So we can go to one particular state right here. So for a particular volume, since the volume remains constant, so we can have a state here, we can have a state there. Notice, let's call this state 1, let's call this state 2. Notice, if the temperature increases from 1 to 2, that means the volume has to increase in a similar ratio. So in other words, if the temperature doubles, then the volume doubles. If the temperature triples, then the volume triples. And that's what we see here, regardless of which line we're on. If we're on this line right here, and we call this state 1, and we call this state 2, again, whatever the changes in the temperature, there will be a proportional change in the volume in such a way that the ratio P1 divided by T1 must equal P2 divided by T2. And that's what we mean by Gay-Lussac's law, and that's how it's illustrated on a PT diagram. And again, the relationship between the linear function y equals mx plus b. And that's how it's done.